What's up, Sunflower Gang? Welcome back to my channel. Of course, y'all know I wanted to bring y'all some color. I teamed up with Eunice. I actually have a coupon for y'all. So it's actually Love Eunice. If you need to check the spelling, definitely make sure to check out the description box below. And y'all know they typically always give a ton of goodies. You get a wig band. I say a wig band. This is like an elastic wig strap band, lashes, <laughs> a wig cap. And then they have also started to include uh, a nice fluffy powder brush, which I found really helpful when it comes to like applying product underneath the lace. But we'll get into that in a bit. So so this is actually a unit directly from Amazon. Eunice is now available on Amazon. This unit was literally only $225. I'm still kind of like tripping out at the price. This is a 20 inch. And of course, this is a 13 by 4 unit. I'm going to be wearing this completely glueless so you guys can see they already have the elastic band attached on the inside of the wig and it's completely adjustable. The cap is also adjustable, which just makes this like so much easier, especially if you are a beginner you don't really want to have to go through the hassle of all that glue but y'all I wasn't sure about the color I've done red before but y'all know it was the winter and we're kind of getting close to spring so I kind of get real fair skin all right yeah so there's that I wasn't really sure how this was gonna look but we gonna test it out today you guys can see I already have my hair pretty much braided if you guys need a detailed step-by-step -step on how to cornrow your hair then I have one and then I've noticed that the wig caps are actually getting thinner so clearly they picked up what y'all was putting down <laughs> when it comes to the wig or the stocking caps I think people were using like the tights to get that super thin lace or not lace I'm saying lace to get the super thin wig cap and then right now I'm just pointing off out that I went ahead and cut off the lace around the bottom of the cap and around the ear and I'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much throw this baby on I like to trim that off ahead of time just so I don't have to worry about the hassle now of course this was a 13 by 4 but I don't know if it's just me but when I go to actually like tighten the wig and really kind of get it nice and snug to my head all of a sudden that 13 by 4 kind of shrinks to about a 13 by I don't know or maybe not even 13 maybe a 12 by 4 I don't know but I do always notice that the lace on the sides of the ear start to kind of go up a little bit and that's just because I have the cap super super tight you guys will see that I'm pretty much just parting my hair off I decided to do a side part because I really wanted to kind of do uh my hair kind of like the photo <laughs> you guys will get a chance to kind of see it if you do go ahead and click that link and then like I said this is a 20 inch unit it's 180 percent density which to me is just the perfect amount of hair it's not too thin not too thick y'all know especially with the colored units pre-colored at that typically they come overly thick and then you have to do all this plucking well this unit came pre-plucked so now that we have pretty much the unit set and kind of like ready to fully be styled you guys can see I've perfectly carved out that part and then I'm also going to go ahead and take some true scalp tape there will be a link to that down in my description box as well but I went ahead and just use some of that to pretty much mimic bleach knots not that I really needed to do this in this case but I felt that it would be a little bit more helpful because for me the wig cap was not about to be a thing we were not about to sit here and glue that down spray it down like no I'm, I'm just so over that nowadays I hardly even wear the wig caps usually it's just like braids and then that's it so I went ahead and pretty much put the wig back on now that I was pretty much happy with the way that it was fitting and looking I did go ahead and use the fluffy brush the powder brush that they gave and then I took a little bit of my foundation kind of got it nice and airy for that airbrush effect to really really kind of tone down the lace not that I really needed it I did notice that this was super fine HD lace and it did already come pre plucked y'all can see I kind of took off a little bit too much hair on the sides here and I wanted to go ahead and and just further customize this um, I did think that the hairline was pretty nice like I said when it comes to color wigs when I'm thinking about the price point when I'm thinking of the quality of hair y'all it was super soft obviously I got shedding just because I'm tweezing out the hair um, I haven't worn it long enough at this very moment to say whether or not you know the hair sheds a lot or not but if you are looking for something affordable quick cute you don't have to go to the salon you can get this done at home hey 
I'm all for that, all right? And keep in mind, these wigs last forever. So as long as you are one of those people that really take good care of your lace, you should be fine. Um, now, I learned my lesson in my other video where I did a little bit of color. I actually was itching to do some baby hairs. And I know a large part of you hate when I do it, but every now and then I got to do it for the girls, okay? And so this was definitely one of those moments. Instead of me um, really tacking this down with like a bunch of hair spray and all that I did the original way to lay these units was with the mousse right y'all know okay and so I literally just used my razor comb to kind of lightly uh, get rid of some of the bulk in the hair and then I used my Bronner Brothers pump it up to actually lay down one side of the wig so you guys can see I'm only <laughs> Which is kind of like, girl, what's happening? I literally only laid that the side down <laughs> with that pump it up. Or I'm saying pump it up, but it's a professional hairspray. Y'all, aka pump it up, all right? Literally, I only used one side. And you guys can see I did not do the baby hairs on both sides of the wig. Because I'm going to be wearing a side part. Nobody's going to see it. So, like, why even waste the time, right? Obviously, if you want to, do it. But, y'all, I'm just keeping it in a book. This is what I would normally normally do um especially if I just want something quick cute probably only gonna be wearing it for a night two three max you see what I'm saying so yeah I did go ahead and take a little bit of that spray as well and obviously you can use whatever you feel comfortable with just a nice holding spray um and I hit it around the edges and then of course tied it down with the elastic band that does have that velcro which is a lot just it's more comfortable to me um so yeah I do appreciate that and then of course y'all know I can never really finish this style until I have added a little bit of shape to it so as they go ahead and just pretty much trim off the ends you guys can see I pretty much measure it to like the bottom of my boobs I pulled it straight because of course the hair is kind of body waved and then I went ahead and took my razor comb just to add a little bit of like shape in the front I didn't want to do any crazy layers or anything like that and then I went ahead and took my pattern blow dryer just to lightly kind of go throughout the hair I wasn't doing anything crazy outside of really drying the mousse that I had put on the hair previously which is kind of going to add as like you know how everybody uses the wax to kind of hold down the hair it will help mold the hair so then that way when I go in with the hot tool it'll be ready to go and I won't have to do too too much so I'm actually taking a two inch curling rod um I don't remember where I got this from I feel like it was a gift I cannot remember though like where it's from if I can I'll try to link it down below but nevertheless you can use literally anything um, to pretty much do this it's not necessarily a brand type of thing but you guys will see I'm hitting the base of the hair um, with a flat iron in some instances where I felt like I really really just need it and then of course I just literally curl the hair and you'll see me going back and forth with a little bit of my uh, frizz ease which I don't know what has like prompted me to start using that hairspray again but I really really like it for the wigs because it's a light hold um and so don't be nervous like you can be a little heavy-handed it's still gonna brush out perfectly your curls are gonna last so I've been really really liking that and just to point this out y'all know typically I will be like okay you need to wash that unit before you put it in your head right but I like to do the start to finish videos because I don't want you guys to feel like I'm doing anything special behind the scenes this is fresh out of the box literally fresh out of the box you guys got to see that true body wave pattern um, of the hair and so essentially we were wanting to like recreate that with waves in just a more organized and professional looking way so that's what my goal is when it comes to you know using this size rod if I wanted something a little bit curlier and less wavy I would do a smaller rod so on and so forth um, and so yeah I'm taking the hot comb now just to really smooth everything down and the trick that I do is I literally apply a little small teeny tiny bit of the frizz ease uh, hairspray towards the base of the actual frontal and then of course I pull the hair away from my face away from my scalp and then hit it with the hot comb that way I'm not burning my natural hair up underneath the wig and I'm also not literally burning myself so <laughs> there's that so you guys can see how quick and easy that was and then I'm just taking a little bit of the frizz ease to go over the top and then you guys can use your favorite light holding shine I'm actually using you guessed 
obviously the Bronner Brothers. Um, this is like just a nice little shine, very lightweight. So I love this. And then I like to always like kind of finger detangle just to see what it's giving, okay? And I was able to instantly see those little layers that I put in it, the curls, y'all. This looks really good. It was giving me very much aerial copper fire goddess. Like we're here, okay? She has arrived. Speaking of, now is a good time to subscribe if you have not already. And if you are not already following me on Instagram, TikTok, definitely make sure to do that. Y'all, I've been hearing about a band that's supposed to be happening. Y'all, we gotta we're gonna have to have a sit down about this, okay? Because what in the world is going on? I don't know. In the meantime, make sure you guys are following me there. That way you don't miss any of the in-between content. And so here you got some see. I decided to just go through with a big paddle brush and pretty Pretty much just like separate the curls y'all it's so amazing to me how you can curl your hair like one way and then it ends up so many different ways <laughs> so you literally just play with it as much or as little as you want to you guys can see I was going for more of that like wavier look and then I noticed here on the side I'm like mm, these curls are not really as curled as I want them to be so I did go ahead and just go back through and this is a testament to just how like using a very light holding spray does you justice because I was able to go back and recurl my hair wasn't sticky it wasn't dry and then of course to really amp up this style I went ahead and took a very small just like a small I don't even know if it's a foundation brush concealer brush um, and a little bit of my foundation and I went in the part just to really pop it out and y'all hmm you be the judge you let me know what you think about this because it was giving everything it wanted to give okay i'm gonna go ahead and do a little spin around you guys can see just how shiny full and pretty this hair is y'all you couldn't have told me this was an amazon wig because let's just be honest <laughs> We have come quite a long way and thanks to tons of content creators, we're making it so much easier for you guys to be able to do these styles at home, save some money, become skillful, pick up a new trade. You guys, okay, the opportunity is there for you. So do not be afraid to just try it out. Nobody has to, you know, know when you mess up, when you're like, we don't care. Okay. The point is try it <laughs> and eventually you'll get better in time. You guys can go back to like all of my old videos you guys will see when I first started wigs we were not here at all okay so it does take time to really get to this step but I'm here to support y'all and you guys can see I did a really really quick like up half up half down side part this is like one of those styles that's kind of coming back and I love that we're doing it on wigs <laughs> because who is really like he damaging their hair to this point like what's happening we've already had to have a conversation about my micro links and like what happened there but the other thing i want to talk to y'all about is the nape of y'all wig next okay let's make sure that when you guys are pinning these wigs up we are not just wearing it like this okay sis we come on now if you're gonna do it do it right that anchor braid at the bottom go ahead and make sure you either bobby pin that down go ahead and take some uh some thread and needle sew it down do what you gotta do but make sure that if you're gonna do it we doing it right okay practice 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 don't be afraid to get the mirror look behind your head and see what's going on okay and this again is just me playing with the hair and then the only other thing that i would have to say about this is i really do wish we had a little bit more parting space that would probably be my only like thing that I would change about this wig if we could have done the same color same unit and like a 13 by 6 with that deep part whoo baby snaps we in the game I love y'all so much stay pretty leave me any comments or questions down below and you already know I will see you in my next video bye babies